Today I have the Hot Wheels FAO Schwarz 8-pack. I've been chasing this set up my local Target. I missed it, but I got it online so it didn't really matter. And I have it to review. I already opened it and actually did a video on it, but I wasn't happy with the take. I wanted to say more stuff than I did, so uh, I scrapped it. I still have all the models, so here they are in their package. Here's the UPC if you want it. There's all the renders. Okay, get that top row there. And uh, yeah, let's crack this thing open and take a look at the cars. Uh, this is $20 at Target. And uh, I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna see, is it worth it? Cause this thing's also really hyped up. It's sold out at every Target around me. So I'm asking myself, is this set worth all the hype? And uh, that's what I'm gonna find out. So we're gonna start out with the Twin Mill. This is one of two unlicensed models in this set. Uh, Twin Mills, a very legendary casting, debuting in 1969. And uh, here it is. So it does get the full tampo treatment. It has a little Twin Mill text on the side. It's got the rear done up. That's the top, well, the front part here. You can see the headlights and the stripe going down the center. And it's also metal on metal, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, that's Twin Mill. I, I mean, it's Twin Mill. It's a legendary casting, very well known. So, you know, very much Hot Wheels nostalgia. And it uh, looks good here in gold. And all these cars are gold. They have gold wheels, gold bodies, gold interiors, gold everything. They're gold. And that's kind of the whole theme of the set is they are gold and they're celebrating FAO Schwarz. All right, next up is the Bone Shaker. Now, I actually saw this Bone Shaker and it reminded me a lot of two things. The first edition of it from 2006 when the casting debuted and the Golden Bone Shaker from the Larry Wood 50th anniversary set. So I brought both of them out and yeah, actually the deco um, on the side is the same. It's the same skull and crossbone as you can see right there, they're the same. Now this one does have that skull and crossbones on the hood and a Hot Wheels logo on the back, which this version does not have. I also brought out the Larry Wood golden bone shaker, which actually is a different uh, style of gold. This has like a matte gold. This is a like a metal flake, but um, they look very similar there. So as yeah, as I said, same skull on the side as the 2006 first edition, which I think is really cool. It's got Hot Wheels logo on the back and it's got that same skull and crossbones on the top. The base is this weird like, um, I don't know, it's like a mac and cheese yellow. It's a very weird shade. I, don't, I honestly don't like it too much. It's, <laughs> it just looks really weird. But overall, not bad. Bone Shaker is another one of those, like, classic Hot Wheels castings. And it's a fan favorite. Next up is the 67 Camaro. Except this is a brand new casting. And this is something I did not know when initially recording this video. But this is the first time we are seeing the 67 Camaro. There have been, like, two other 67 Camaros. I have one of them, the... Um, the original tooling, this one has the opening hood. It's from Fast and Furious from 2019. I remember this model being a massive peg warmer. You already see they're very different. There's also an RLC version, which is also different, quite different actually. And uh, yeah, here it is. Got a black base. You can see the copyright date does say 2020. So it is a very new casting. Like I said, this is a brand new first time we're seeing it. The grill is a part of the window piece, which is very interesting. So the grill is clear. I don't really know how to feel about that. It's it's quite interesting though. It's got a side stripe with Camaro right there, Hot Wheels logo on the back corner. It does have the tail lights printed in. There's the other side. The top has a center stripe going down the middle with some other striping along the hood. Gold exhaust, gold interior, golden bumpers. And yeah, this is a cool um, version of 67 Camaro. I, I really like it a lot. And I'd imagine we're gonna see this casting a lot more in the future. This is just the first release, but 
Something I didn't know, you get a new casting in this FAO Schwarz set. It's quite a cool one. Uh, revamp of the 67 Camaro. All right, next up is the Aston Martin 1963 DB5. Here it is. And is the base metal? No, I think it's plastic. It's very interesting plastic. It's not like VUM chrome. It's more of like a, it's like a, almost like a, a dull chrome. Like, you know, what's a model I could show it off of? Like, take a look at this um, skyline right here. It's like a lot more reflective than the Aston Martin. So that's just a little uh, observation. But uh, this one's nice. It debuted in 2014. It's mostly been in silver as like a James Bond car because that's what makes this car really famous as I was in James Bond. It's also just a very gorgeous model. But it's only been in like a handful of colors outside of silver. But now we get this gold version, which looks really good. It's got the lace wheels on it and it's plain Jane. It's got the back detailed and the front Aston Martin logo on the hood. And that is it. Just a plain gold DB5 and it looks great. So this is a really good one. All right. Next up is the newest casting of the bunch. It is the Land Rover Defender 90. This casting debuted in 2020 in the main line. It's got a few releases. It's gotten a, some premium releases as well. And we see it here in the set. It has these gold kind of off-road wheels, which I really like. Uh, VUM chrome, gold chrome base. It's got a 90 on the side there with the Land Rover logo and a Hot Wheels logo with some side trim. The front is not printed in. I believe this is a part of the interior piece, um, which the interior is not gold. It is actually black. So, and I think I prefer it um, black because it provides some color break. So it's not just overwhelming gold because also the spare tire here is a part of the interior. And uh, yeah, it'd look very weird if you have a golden spare tire. But on the uh, hood, it has the 90 and the Land Rover logo. You do get the back details, which is nice. It's a little Land Rover badge right there. And uh, I really like this one. I think this is a cool casting, and this is a uh, really cool model in this set. This might be a very underrated one. I, I really, I personally like it. I think it's really cool. All right, now to the heavy hitters. These are some of the more all-star castings, starting out with... The Volkswagen T2 pickup, it debuted in 2017. It's got a Super Treasure Hunt release, and here it is in this set. It's got the same color base as Bone Shaker, which, I don't know, just that color, the shade is just not quite doing it for me. Uh, I can't tell if it has front deco. It looks like it might have like some silver printed in, like maybe in the Volkswagen logo, but maybe the paint was just kind of thin. So it may just be kind of showing the bare metal underneath. I have no clue. The interior is gold though, and so is the bed. There's the end motor in the back. It's got the tail lights done up. It has some side stripes with a Hot Wheels logo and a Volkswagen logo, some stripes going on the top. And it says Volkswagen on the rear window, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. There we go. This is a really nice one. Despite the uh, whack colored base, I still think this one's pretty cool. It's a really nice casting and very cool that it, it is in this set. Next up is the 71 Porsche 911. Its model debuted in 2018, has gotten quite a few releases since, and we are seeing it in this set. And this might be my favorite one of the set. This one's really good. It does have the Porsche emblem and the headlights done up, VUM chrome base has Porsche down here on the side in the stripe with the roundel. What does it say on the side there? I think this is Hot Wheels graphics. Yeah, this is Hot Wheels graphics right there. There's the back, has a Porsche logo with the black printed in. Now the tail lights and the uh, these side like reflector lights or whatever they are, um, they're actually part of the um, window piece. So you do get the brakes there, which is really cool. Has the roundel on the hood. And uh, overall, I just really like this one. It looks really good like this. Very nice Porsche casting and a very good deco for it. I love it. 
And last up is the JDM model of the set. It is the Nissan Skyline HT2000 GTX, debuted in 2011. This year it got a Super Treasure Hunt release, which is very, very good. And I actually found it in store as well. And this FAO Schwarz version is very nice as well. Got that plastic gold chrome VUM base. It also has the round wheel on the side with a side stripe Hot Wheels logo in the back. I think that says Hot Wheels in Japanese. I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Um, it's got a side stripe, or not a side stripe. It's got a hood stripe going down the center. Same thing here on the side. It does have the taillights done up. And overall, it's a really good looking model. The Hakoska is a very popular casting. It's a very good looking casting and nice to see it here. And that is the FAO Schwarz set. And I gotta say, I'd say it's worth it. This set's really cool. Um, really like the Bone Shakers, a callback to the first edition. Brand new Camaro casting, really nice DB5. Love the Land Rover, love the Volkswagen, love the Porsche. That one's probably my favorite. And the Skyline's no slouch either. And Twin Mills is kind of kind of there, but you know, Twin Mills, Twin Mills, it's a very legendary casting. And uh, yeah, overall, I really love this set and that's all I have to say. See ya.